What's up, y'all? Today I got myself some good old-fashioned classic home style, just old school tuna salad sandwiches. I got two of them. They're cut into quarters, and it cost me about 13 bucks. I just saw these and I'm like, you know what? That looks pretty good. I want those. Let's get them. I don't think I've ever had a tuna salad sandwich outside of a few times I've had it from Subway, so this should be pretty good, I'm thinking. You know? I don't know. Let's try it, though. Let me show you what I'm working with real quick. Very simple. Keeping it real basic. As you can see, we just have a very minimalistic white bread right here. There is a slice of cheese on that, but good amount of filling there with the uh, tuna salad. And the crusts are, well, they did their best to cut them off. So if you're someone who doesn't like the crust, this will be right up your alley. I don't mind it, but I just kind of really like this clean Dean never before seen, if you know what I mean. Look. All right, let's get into this. Highly enjoyable. Sometimes that's all you really need. Just something real simple like this. And a perfect little lunch, better than Subway. It's nice and soft and creamy and flavorful. Feels not too unhealthy, but also very satisfying and satiating, but also light and mighty fine. All right. Mm. I've been sleeping on these. I, I might have to make myself one of these sometime. Like a tuna melt. I've never had a tuna melt. Hmm. I'll tell you what though, this kind of sandwich, oh man. Perfect for a, a picnic, a hike. Just really any occasion. I feel like it would taste a little bit better outdoors, but. Perfect ratio. I like the bread. I like, yeah, anyway. You know who would really like these? Hobbs. Hobbs would really be messing with these, I think. <clears throat> Such a clean eat, too. It's not spilling all over the place. My hands are, are staying pristine. Mmm. Not sure what they put in this tuna salad mix, but you definitely got the tuna, the mayo, probably some onions. I, I don't really taste, it's not very complicated. You know, I don't taste too many different elements. It's just solid though, you know. A little bit expensive, I guess. I don't know, is it? I'll tell you what, tuna in a can. Like I said, I, I never had a tuna salad sandwich before, except a few times at Subway. So like growing up, I, I never tried canned tuna. And it's one of those things like, I don't know, my parents would never get it. Just never around it ever. And I tried it, I'm like, damn, that's actually pretty good. Like you have this stereotype about it. You think it's like bogus, like spam. Uh, 
like stuff in a can, like any kind of meat kind of product in a can is very suspect. I didn't try either tuna or spam until I was in Korea. Because I'll, I'll tell you one thing. People in Korea love spam and canned tuna. Which is interesting. Oh, I could eat more of these. I wish I had I wish I got one more. I'll tell you what though. Y'all remember Calvin and Hobbes? I used to love that comic. What happened to comics? I used to read the Sunday comics because they came out in color every single Sunday. Growing up. In, in throughout high school even. Like, that was my thing. Do comics even exist? Like, do still people still make comics, man? I don't know. Speaking of comics, though, I'm going to have to read a quick quick strip here. Let's see. That was a good one. <laughs> Crazy guy. Mm. Tuna fish sandwiches. <clears throat> I've been sleeping on it my whole life, really. And with that little nice little piece of cheese in there, you know, that's all you really need. I'm Yeah. I'm gonna start messing with tuna fish sandwiches from now on. Anyway, just a simple classic and uh that's pretty much all there is to it, so I'm about to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video. Peace.